Now I might need your help with this one to try and identify some of these varieties as this is a mystery rescue plant box. I know there are philodendrons in there, I just don't know what types. This is actually two boxes put together, hence the very large box, and they are rescue plants. So they will need a little bit of TLC, but it's a fantastic way to get new varieties in the collection, particularly special varieties, for a much lower price and then give them that TLC to bring them back to full health. And I've also got another box at the edge of the screen which you might be able to see. That has got a really special plant in that I've just ticked off the wish list at a super bargain price. So I'll be showing you what I've got in there too. Now I've just taken the plants out of the box and there are six mystery philodendrons all together. So thankfully they've put a little note in there just to say that I've tried to get a mix of varieties in there and what the varieties are. However, I still need to match the names up to the actual plants. There are a few new ones to the collection which is fantastic. I'll also share the price that I've paid for the box as then we can see what value the box is compared to if we were buying the plant full price and not as a mystery rescue box. So we'll start with what looks like the smallest one and this is a philodendron moonshine. Thankfully it has got a label on it. This looks like a really wonderful full plant. It looks like there's almost maybe two or three plants in the pot and there's new leaves on the way. So no issues about this coming back, hopefully to full health. What I can see on it though is there are some blotches on the leaves. So I'm just wondering whether that is possibly fertilizer damage or maybe possibly leaf spot, but we'll find out. So I'll cut that leaf off, I'll get rid of that blotchy leaf and then we'll hopefully get the rest of the plant back to full health and replenishing those with the new leaves. So usually one might pay between $4.99 and $7.99 for a plant of this size for the philodendron moonshine. So this next one is a philodendron white princess and I'm so glad that I didn't buy this recently at full price. It was in my basket and then I decided to put it back and keep it on the wish list. However, it's now arrived in this box so I can add it to the collection along with the white wizard and white knight. This is a quite a small plant for the size of the pot. It's in a 12 or 13 centimeter pot, but it's got loads of leaves. There's about two, I think two plants in the pot. There's new leaves on the way. And the only issues that I can really see on it are there are some crispy bits on the tips and particularly on this side, on this, the edge of this leaf, if you can see there. And there was a tiny bit of damage down here too, but there's still lots of leaves on there, healthy leaves and new ones on the way, as I said. So this, the full price one that I was looking at was I think a little bit bigger than this, was $14.99. And then generally they go for about 25 pounds because I was only gonna buy it because it was such a good price. But then this has arrived in the mystery box, which is fantastic. So again, I will tell you how much I paid for the mystery box in total at the end once we've gone through all of the plants, but really pleased with this one. Now this next one I actually knew was arriving. This is the only philodendron that I bought of a specific variety. This is the Painted Lady. As you can see these wonderful light green, lime green and yellow variegated leaves. This is a really fantastic, nice healthy plant, uh, but this one was bought at full price, although it was on offer, which was uh, a really good offer, hence why I bought it, but it wasn't part of the mystery plant box. So let's go back onto the mystery plants. So this next one I think is the star of the box. This one is definitely the one of the highest value. This one is a Philodendron Domesticum variegata. And as you can see, it's got these wonderful blotches of lime green variegation down these really, really dark forest green leaves really nice shape and texture to them as well. And it's quite a good sized plant too. It might need a moss pole, so I might need to pot it up with a moss pole to give it that support. And it does have a new leaf on the way. There is a little bit of damage on there. So that could be why it's been in the rescue box. But also there was a note saying that they believe it was starting to lose its variegation. So that's possibly why it was in the rescue box as well, as it doesn't have a huge amount of variegation. There's a bit on this leaf and most of it on this leaf. Some of the other leaves do seem to be predominantly green. I'm not sure if that can come back if the plant is given some TLC and brought back to its full health or if it will stay green. Either way, I'm happy with it because even these really dark greens are wonderful and it's a new one to the collection. So whether it's got variegation or not, I'm happy with it. But the Domesticum variegatum, looking at a full price one, the lowest that I could see it was 75 pounds and then going up into the hundreds. And that is obviously ones with more variegation on them. So as this one doesn't have as much or seems to be going back. Then some, looking at some of the ones that had lower variegation, the lowest price I could see was about 20 pounds and then upwards. So I'm very happy with this for the price that I paid for the box again, which I'll share at the end and you'll see what value getting this plant in the mystery box was. Now this next one is one that I've already got in the collection, but a much smaller version. So I've got a really large philodendron autumn falls already and the leaves can get huge and they look almost black when they're mature. But as they sort of start and they're smaller leaves, they've got this wonderful burgundy tint to them, incredibly dark leaves um, compared to a lot of other philodendrons as well. But this, again, looking at it, looks like it's a healthy plant. I think it might have been in the rescue box on sale because maybe it is slightly smaller. So there's not a huge amount of leaves on it at the moment, but it does have this new one on the way and another new one just there too. 
so I'm sure it will grow quite quickly in time. There's a tiny bit of damage at the end of one of the leaves, but other than that, this looks relatively healthy. Uh, looking at how much I would pay for a plant of this size for the Awesome Falls, $4.99 to $9.99 online from other retailers. So again, even if I'd got this as a full price, full price plant, I would be happy with the quality of the plant. So this next one is one that I've already got in the collection, but I don't mind having two of these because they are wonderful plants. This is the Philodendron Birkin or White Wave. And as you can see, it's got these wonderful bright white leaves, variegation with the green stripes on, sometimes even blotches of color green or bronze. And then the wonderful, really dark green leaves with the lesser variegation on them too. So all of the leaves that it pops out are completely different. So it's got that really unique visual appeal. This one, looking at it, there's only a tiny bit of damage to this leaf that I can see. All of the rest of it looks really healthy. And given the size of the pot, maybe a 14 to 15 centimeter pot, it does look like the plant is quite small for the pot. So that could be why it's in the rescue box because it's a slightly smaller, pl smaller plant and the little bit of damage to one of the leaves. So I'm sure with the right TLC, this will grow to its full potential. If I was buying this full price, not taking into consideration the size of the pot, but the size of the plant as it is now, I would probably pay if I was shopping around about $9.99 for this full price. So again, happy that this has arrived in the rescue box. So I did say that I had two boxes that were combined. So I'm guessing this is the start of the other box. As you can see these wonderful, really big, lovely green leaves. This is a Philodendron Gloriosum. And this one looks like it's a really good size. The problem I think with this one is, as you can see, I'm trying to hold it to support it. It looks like it's got too big for the pot that it's in. So it's only in a small, I think that's a 12 centimeter pot, but quite shallow, so it's a bit wobbly. But you can see that it started to grow off this stem and it's got a new leaf coming up just here as well. So this definitely needs potting up and it needs some support, maybe a moss pole, something like that for it to grow up and help it. There's a tiny bit of damage to this leaf that I can see, but nothing major. And you can see those leaves are really wonderful and quite lush there. So I'm really happy with the health of this plant, just that it maybe needs a bit of potting, potting up to help it grow to its full potential. So this looking online, there's one from my one of my usual plant retailers for $11.99, but that is on sale down from £36. And the general going rate for these looks like they're about £25 upwards, depending on where you're buying them from in a 12 centimeter pot. So again, really good value for this. It just needs that support so that it doesn't fall out of the pot. So I'll be potting this up shortly. Now I've still got the wishlist plant to unbox from this really big box just here, which I'll show you in just a second. But before I do, I was talking about the prices that I would have paid for these and the value that we've got from the rescue boxes. So I've got six philodendrons in total, the philodendron white princess, the little moonshine, the gloriosum, the domesticum variegata, the autumn falls, and the Birkin. So six in total, so that would have worked out about three per box. As I said, I've got two boxes which were combined. I paid £20 per box, so £40 in total for all six of those philodendrons. And working out how much that would have cost if I'd have bought them full price, based on the estimates that I gave from what they're selling for online, at the lower end of the ranges that I gave, I worked that out to be £135. So I've got £135 at least worth of plants for £40 just because they've maybe got um, a pot that's too small or a little bit of damage to one leaf for example or even with this one losing the variegation it seems but it's still got some variegation on it. I think that's a fantastic deal. I think that's maybe 65% to 70% off if you can do that quick maths. That's a really great saving on those plants to add new ones into the collection at a much lower price than you'd pay if you were buying them full price. So I'm really pleased with all of the plants that I've received in this box. I think it's fantastic value for money. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you think this was a good deal for all of these philodendrons. So these were from a new house plant retailer in the UK called Planted In, and I have had an order from them before with full price plants, but this was the first rescue plant box that I've got from them. But I'll definitely be buying more when I see them come up again based on the performance of this box. So now onto the wishlist plant, and this has been on my wishlist for ages. It's just always been out of my price range, but I saw it on offer for a really fantastic deal and had to buy it for that price. So I'm gonna open this box. It might be a bit of a faff trying to get it out of this really big box. So I'll probably unpack it and then just show you the plant once it's unboxed. But I have just sort of loosened the top so that I can show you some of the leaves peeking out of the top. This is much bigger than I was expecting it to be as well for the price that it was. So let me unwrap it completely and then show you the plant in full. Now this is actually quite difficult to hold as it's such a large plant, plus trying to get it all in the shot. So you can only actually see three leaves. They're just absolutely massive. So this is a Monstera Thai constellation if you didn't recognize it. And as you can see, it's got these wonderful, really big mature Monstera leaves with these fenestrations and all of this nice speckling of variegation or constellations down the dark green leaves. So it's got two really 
big leaves on top, a medium leaf in the middle, and it's actually got a new leaf on the way just here as well, so hopefully that'll grow just as big as the other ones. This was only 49 99 so an absolute bargain price to get this Thai constellation of this size for under £50. As I said, they were previously out of my price range, so I jumped at that to get it for that price. If I was maybe buying a smaller Thai constellation, possibly with less mature leaves, so much smaller leaves, possibly with a bit of brighter variegation though, I would be looking at £100 upwards. So to get a plant of this size for £49.99 is an absolute bargain. And I think this has, or it was, grown from a cutting and that has been established and potted up. So rather than just buying like a random cutting that you've got to try and root yourself at home, this is an established cutting, which is probably why the leaves are so mature if it's been taken from a mature plant. So I'm incredibly pleased with this. And one of the great things about the retailer as well, Tropical Plants UK, is they actually grow a lot of these themselves in the UK and um, propagate them and specialize in these in particular. And they've included a care guide as well with how to pot it up and put it on a moss pole and look after it. So I'll definitely be using that because this will need a moss pole to give it some extra support. Incredibly pleased with this plant. Again, I'll definitely be shopping with that retailer. What do you think? Do you think that was a good deal for £49, £49.99 for a Thai constellation of this size? So what do you think of the philodendrons that I got in the rescue boxes and the Thai constellation and what I've paid for them? Do you think they were good value for money? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video interesting and just like plant content, then consider subscribing. I have new videos every week, usually on a Sunday. And there's loads of videos on the channel already, including more unboxing videos, complete plant care guides, different DIY plant projects that you can do. So check that out next if you're interested in seeing more plant content. If you've got any questions, put it in the comments below and I will respond to everyone. And as always, thank you for watching Grow Your Wellbeing.